Hey y'all, this is Mr. Patient with Heritage Ways, and we're starting a collaboration and we're calling it the Homeschool Dad's Perspective. So we want to uh, take a minute to go over some of these uh, questions that we want guys, guys out there to answer. One of the people that we're tagging is the YouTube channel Simply Shelly, and I'm, and I'm tagging her husband Andy. He has his own channel, My Andy Buck. And at the end of this video, uh, Miss Katie is going to tag other channels that we would like to participate in this collaboration. So I've got the list of questions here on my phone, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in and get started. So you guys that we're tagging in this collaboration, um, take note of these questions and be thinking about them so that you can participate in this collaboration. <music> First question is, how long have you been homeschooling? If I'm doing the math right, we've been homeschooling for 15 or so years. Um, we started when our oldest son was in fifth grade, and he's now 25, so that would be right at 15 years. Question number two, whose idea was it to homeschool your children, yours? or your wife's. Actually, it was neither of our idea to homeschool our children. We had uh, some family or some friends that we were worshiping with at the time, and uh, this mother came up to us and said, hey, we're thinking about homeschooling. Y'all need to do it too. And this was probably when our oldest son was in third grade maybe, and we were like, this is not something we want to do. Um, we, we had not heard that much about homeschooling at this point, and uh, we, we thought she was off her rocker. But as time transpired over the course of the next few years and different things happened, um, we thought about it and we've talked about it, um, but Miss Katie was the one bringing it to my attention. So if, if I want to answer this question as the way it's written, then it was, it was Miss Katie's idea, not mine. All right, question number three. <clears throat> Were you on board with homeschooling at first? Um, honestly, it, it took me a little while to come around to the idea of saying, yeah, this is what we need to do. Um, you know, we were both raised in, in homes where it was all about the public school system because that's what we knew. Uh, our parents were part of that. Uh, Miss Katie was a school teacher. Her mother was a school teacher. Her father was a school teacher. Her grandmother was a school teacher. Her aunts that were her grandmother's sisters were school teachers. So, <clears throat> it, you know, it was not something um, that was in the forefront of our minds. So it was, it was kind of hard to get on board. But once I saw the things that were going on in the public school system and heard things that were happening, then it was easy for me to come on board real quickly. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to move on to the next question, number four. How do you feel about home education now? That's easy. In my opinion, it's the only way. Um, as we see the way that our nation is going, we see the things that are happening in our country and around the world. Um, you know, it's our job as parents to to teach and, and protect our children. Uh, not everybody has the same worldview that we have. And I don't want someone taking the majority of their day and indoctrinating them with a worldview that I don't believe in. So for me, home education is the only way to go. That way we can instill our values, our worldview, on our children as opposed to someone else doing that. Question number five, <clears throat> what is the greatest benefit of homeschooling in your family, do you think? So I feel like the greatest benefit of homeschooling in our family there, there's, is multifaceted. First thing is, one of the goals we had when we started homeschooling our big children our older boys was that they would become best friends and over the course of the years when we were homeschooling them 
and they were all still here, we saw that goal come to fruition. And even now that my oldest son has uh, been gone from our home for several years now, I can truly say that they are best friends. Um, when, when they get together, it, it's almost like they become kids again. Uh, the way they interact with un one another and, and the fun they have with one another. Um, so that that's number one. Um, I would say that number two is it gives us the opportunity to be able to vacation during times of year when everyone else is in school, which works out really well because you're not having to deal with all the crowding of uh, everybody trying to get their vacation in in June and July of, of the summertime. So we can go um, the months before everybody else gets out of school or the months after, you still have that summer type in environment as far as uh, climate and everything, but you don't have to deal with all the crowds. But another thing about that one is, anytime we would take a vacation, we would always try to um, interject some kind of learning thing. Um, it's kind of gotten to be a, a little bit of a joke in our family with with Miss Katie because every time we decide we're going to go on vacation and where we're going to go, she's like, well, let me see what we can learn. But if you think about it, that's, that's part of the homeschool mentality is that we're always learning. We're always looking for opportunities to learn something new to teach our children. All right, question number six. What is the greatest disadvantage of homeschooling in our family. I thought about this one for a while and I had a real hard time coming up with something as far as a disadvantage in our family. And really the only thing that I could come up with is that by not being in a public school system and them saying you have to get this done by a certain time, we personally have a, have, uh, a tendency to just kind of relax and let things flow at a, at a not so uh, not such a fast pace and we end up seeing ourselves getting behind in what we need to be teaching our children um, at the age that they are so to me that's that's really the only disadvantage that I can think of um, I, I think the advantages so far outweigh the disadvantages there's i have a hard time coming up with disadvantages <clears throat> question number seven do you or does your wife do the majority of the book teaching in your family by far my wife does the majority of the book teaching she's home with them all day while i'm at work um, so it just logically in our family works for her to do the majority of the book teaching Question number eight, what do you feel you offer to the education of your children? <clears throat> what do I feel I offer to the education of our children? Um, you know, I'm, I'm the spiritual leader of our home, so um, I, I know it is my responsibility to help them out spiritually. Um, I'll be honest with you, I, I don't do as well as that as I should, and that's one of those one of those things that I always have in the forefront of my mind that I need to work on um, is, is to be that spiritual leader in the home. Um, I, I'm constantly <clears throat> um, teaching the boys specifically things that they need to learn in order to be the head of their family, in order to be the husband, in order to be the father. Um, you know, I think, think things specifically like plumbing and electrical just simple plumbing, simple electrical, um, car maintenance. You know, there are certain things that <clears throat> my older boys, before they leave the house, I wanted to make sure they understood how to do. And, uh, and I think they've learned a lot of those things very well. In fact, I think some of my sons have actually surpassed me in uh, the auto mechanic field um, with some of the things that I've seen them do. They've They've tackled things that I, I don't know that I would have tackled or, or would tackle, but because I feel like because of what things I did teach them, it gave them the confidence to be able to 
tackle those things and be successful in fixing um, their automobiles with the things that were wrong with them. All right. Question number nine. How do you feel about the idea that homeschoolers are not socialized? I think the idea that homeschoolers are not socialized is an actual joke. Um, it kind of makes me want to laugh out loud because if you think about the socialization piece of it, when children go to public school system, they're only with their age group. But by homeschooling, it affords us the opportunity to have our children with children their age, children older than them, children younger than them, and with older adults, and I, when I say older adults, I mean older than Miss Katie and myself. Um, let's, I don't mean to disrespect, but let's use the term seniors. It, it allows them to learn and to be able to socialize in multiple settings with different age groups, not just the age group that they are. And, and I think that is one of the biggest um, fallacies of homeschooling is well your kids aren't going to be socialized I'm sorry but I think our kids are more more socialized than the kids that are in the public school system because they are dealing with so many different age groups of people so you know they don't have a problem with walking up to an older senior person and carrying on a conversation with them I think that uh that would be something that would probably be pretty hard for most children that are in the public school system, but um, but they don't have a problem doing that. And like I said, I, I feel like that they are more socialized. All right, question number 10. <clears throat> what two pieces of advice would you offer to dads whose wives have mentioned homeschooling, but they're not quite sure about it? One of the pieces of advice that I would give to those dads is to do your research and understand what is going on in the public school systems, um, the things that are being taught in the public school systems. Um, you know, peruse through the textbooks that your children are using if, if you're in a public school system and you're not homeschooling yet. Um, I, there's, I'm sure there's resources out there, I don't know what they are, um, that could give you information on how the textbooks that the children are using in the public school, school systems have a particular agenda. You know, everybody's got an agenda. Uh, every group has an agenda. And I think we've heard a lot um, recently in the news about some of the agenda that's being pushed into the public school system. Um, so the piece, the one piece of advice that I could give you is you really need to become educated about what your children are learning if they're in a public school system and then ask yourself the things that they're learning, are they things that I want my children to be learning? Are, are they things that I want my children <clears throat> to be um, have other people teaching them um, you know they're they're in that school setting for seven and a half eight hours a day and there's a there's a worldview that is being imparted on them does that worldview fall in line with the worldview you have and the worldview you would like for your children to have um, so here again just educate yourself on what is happening and ask yourself, is that what I want to happen for my child? Um, another piece of the second piece of advice that I can give you if, if you're not quite sure about homeschooling is, um, you know, there is this thing called women's intuition. I don't understand it. I don't know how it works. I just know that when I listen to my wife's intuition, things go well. If I don't listen to my wife's intuition, things don't go well. I don't know if, if you guys 
out here watching this video are familiar with Dave Ramsey. I, I would assume most people in the United States is familiar with Dave Ramsey. And one of the things he says that whenever I go against my wife's intuition, it costs me hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, I don't think we're at the point where it's cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars, but I will say that if your wife is convicted about you need to homeschool your children, then I would listen to what she has to say and I would really take that into consideration because women have an uncanny way of, of I guess what I would, I guess the way I put it is they have, a, they have these gut feelings that us men don't have that if we would listen to our wives' gut feelings and that women's intuition, we would probably not get ourselves in as much trouble as we do and uh, things might go a little, little better for us. All right, so this is the collaboration we're doing. It's a homeschool dad's perspective and Miss Katie is gonna tag some other uh, YouTube channels to take part in this collaboration. And we hope that this collaboration has been interesting to you. We hope it's been informative so that it can help you if you're considering homeschooling or not sure whether you want to homeschool or not. Um, but hopefully it'll give you some insight from uh, a homeschool dad to, uh, to consider as, as you do look towards the possibility of homeschooling, uh, whether you're pulling your children out of public school or a Christian school, or whether your children are, are small and you're trying to determine if you want to homeschool them as, as, they, as they get into the school age years. So we hope this has been beneficial and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.